Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Python tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this video, I'm going to show you how to script a Wikipedia table. So this method will work uh, pretty much uh, applies to all the Wikipedia table. So here I'm on the current members of the United States House Representative page. And here I'm going to use this table right here for a uh, demonstration. So how do you know if a table is a Wikipedia table? So when you see a table like this, if you can sort the table, while I hover my mouse, you can see the two tips uh, sort ascending or descending. And then that's how you know uh, that's a Wikipedia table. Now open your Python editor. I'll be using beautiful soup to script the contents and I'll be using the pandas library to display the table. So first we need to import the beautiful soup library. Next, I want to import the requests library um, to get the HTML markup and the pandas library to display the, the table. So first, I'll create a variable to store the Wikipedia uh, page URL. So I'll grab the link and I'll paste it here. And next, we need to figure out the ID of this table right here. So usually what I do is I'll highlight uh, some text that belongs to this table. So here I'll highlight just L bomb at one. I'll right click, go to inspect elements. And by the way, for the browser, I'm using Firefox. Let me grab the, so let me move the developer tools uh, window. And unfortunately, uh, I don't know how to make the, the fonts bigger. But hopefully uh, you can see uh, the tags. The next step I will take is I'll hover my mouse to each tag. And when you hover your mouse to a different tag, it's going to show you the, the selections of the contents. So here, let me move the, this window to the right a little bit. So if I hover my mouse to this, uh, to this line right here, and you can see that Alabama one is uh, highlighted. So that means that uh, this uh, this marker right here is going to give me the information of uh, this text right here. Now I just need to hover my mouse uh, until it's selecting the entire table. So here I want to hover my mouse to T body. Actually, it's not not T body. Uh, this is the header. It should be table. So right here. So I want to hover my mouse to table ID. Here, let me try again. So table ID. And from the information, I have the, the table ID, which is 40 members and the class attribute value. So here I can just grab the table ID, 40 members, and I'll put it somewhere uh, in my script. So I'll just name this uh, table ID. I'll paste the, the table ID. Now we have the link URL as well as the table ID. Now I need to make a, a request call. So from the requests library that gets, I'll pass the Wikipedia page URL. And that gives me the HTML markup. Next, I need to save the markup to my soup object. So I'll take the response object that text. And for the method, I will use the HTML dot pass method to pass out the uh, the contents. Now, if I simply just run this block with code, let me, let me move the panel to the right. Now, if I print the soup object, and now you can see that it's giving me a lot of uh, information. But since we have the table ID, so here I can take the soup object. I can use the form method to find the contents based on this table ID right here. Using the form method, we need to provide the element's name. So it's going to be table. And next we want to provide the attributes value. So it's going to be an ID. And we need to provide the table ID. Now I'll pass the, so I'll save the output to a variable code congress table or something like that. Now if I just run this line by itself and I'll print a congress table object.
based on the the mock out it returns. I know it's returning as a table just because the end tag tells me uh, this contains a, a table. Now what I can do is I can use the pandas library dot read html. Remember this uh, this still HTML markup, and I can provide the the Congress table markup. And I'll save the output to DF object. <clears throat> now, if I execute line twelve, and oh, so I should convert this to string first. So make sure that you convert the the HTML markup to a string data type first. Now, if I print the DF uh, object, and that returns uh, as a DF friend uh, table. So here me some my display option. Now let me reprint the DF object again. So here from this table, uh, is, uh, we have approximately 444 representatives. Now if I go back to the Wikipedia page, So this one is delegates and oh and based on the year and uh, I think this is the city. So city plus the year plus uh, which column is this one. Oh so assume office year. So that show ties to the last uh, the last person from this table. So 2017 Jackson and 1966. So this is I'm going to share in this video and hopefully you guys found the video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.